When you welcome a foster cat into your home, you never quite know what to expect. Some of these cats may have been through traumatic experiences. In most European cities, like Paris, feral cats just wandering and reproducing in the street are not a very common sight. When you see a cat that is obviously without a home, chances are it has been abandoned by its former guardian. Sometimes cats will end up in foster care because their guardian has died and there is no one willing to take care of the cat. Sometimes there is a backstory of animal abuse where a cat simply runs away because it feels it is safer outside than with an abusive human. Felix had had his share of dark moments when he turned up at the Tiger Hotel, but he appeared pretty unfazed. Cats are incredibly resilient creatures. When they are in a loving and safe environment, they can often bounce back even from a traumatizing past. Here's what I know about Felix. About three years ago, a young woman turned up at a veterinarian here in Paris with a male cat about three years old that she claimed she had found in the street. She left him at the clinic because she said she couldn't take care of him. However, the vet got very suspicious from the way the cat interacted with her. He was sure that Felix was in fact her cat. There is a French term for this, abandon contrôlé, a controlled abandonment. More animals are dumped at vet clinics than you'd think. I don't think we should judge the people doing this without knowing any of the story behind their decision. Sometimes people have to go through an unexpected and violent change in their environment and they suddenly cannot care for their pet anymore. At least she didn't dump him in the street. Anyway, the vet kept Felix overnight. He would have gone to an animal shelter. But the next day, an elderly lady arrived at the clinic with one of her own cats. She saw Felix and was curious what this beautiful, regal-looking, long-haired cat was doing there. And when she heard the story, she said, no way is he going to a shelter. And so she took him and gave him to her father to look after. As I said, she was an elderly lady and her father was already into his 80s. And so you know what happens next, right? No, not what you think. It appears that Daddy, at his advanced age, met a woman last year, around the age of his daughter. It must really have been love at first sight, because after only a few weeks he moved in with her, leaving Felix behind. So his own daughter kept looking after Felix. After a while, her father gave up his old apartment and Felix had to move into some kind of garden shed or garden pavilion or something. He lived there all alone for three months and a daughter came once a day to feed him and look after him and talk to him. And all that time, her father kept saying that he would come back and get the cat and that she should just be patient. That was in the summer of 2021. But then at one point, as summer turned into autumn, her father suddenly said that, no, he couldn't take care of the cat anymore. His new home was too small and his new girlfriend didn't want to have a cat. And so his daughter was free to do whatever she saw fit with Felix. And so that's when she turned to the animal protection society I'm working with, which is called Club de Défense des Animaux Paris 12 the Animal Protection Society of the 12th District of Paris. I'll put a link in the description below so you can go to their website and have a look at the great work they are doing. So they contacted me and asked me whether I could foster him. And I said yes. And the rest is history. Thank you.